check test test mic test mic test mic test mic test mic sound check sound check okay now Okay, let's begin. Start na po tayo, start. Let's start na po. Sorry, sorry for the delay. Gusto ko lang ma-ensure para hindi na maulit, uh, ulitin to. Okay, good evening ulit. Good afternoon, good morning sa lahat. Ang ating topic po ngayon ay classification of structures. Part pa rin po ito ng uh, NSCP. Nang it's important na malaman natin, makasipay natin yung kategory ng structures na kailangan natin i-design para malaman po na. Kasi malalangan na natin malaman yun para maklasipay natin siya at mabigyan natin ng corresponding importance factor. So, let me share the screen for my slide. Then po, uh, po yung slide and I will remove myself. So, yan. For comments, suggestion, and may contact me sa natsotek at gmail.com and you can text me at 0933677 And I, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe my channel for more engineering, civil engineering software review and tutorials. Ngayon, punta na po tayo sa topic natin. Ito pong section 103 ng NSCP 2015, Classification of Structures. Gaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, yan. Anong purpose ba at kailangan nating maklasify yung category ng structure? Ito po yun. For the purpose of earthquake resistant design, each structure shall be placed in one of the occupancy category listed in table 103-1. Then, table 208-1 assign importance factor I and IP and in structural observation requirements for each category. Yun, balikan natin. Sinasabi po sa section 103.1 yung classification of structures, nature of occupancy, buildings and other structures shall be classified based on the nature and occupancy according to table 103-1 for the purpose of applying wind and earthquake loads in chapter 2. Yun. Kaya yan po yung importance niya. Ang purpose niya ay, ay sa pag-apply ng wind and earthquake loads. Yung, kaya kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung nature of occupancy ng structures na kailangan natin na i-build na gagawin natin or i-design natin based on wind and earthquake loads. Yan. Sabi po dyan, each building or other structures shall be assigned to the highest applicable occupancy category or categories. Kung ano yung pinakamataas na applicable highest occupancy, ayun po yung kaila, sa kanyang category, ayun yung i-apply natin. Then, Sinasabi niya po, assignment of the same structure to multiple occupancy categories based on use and the type of loading conditions being evaluated. Exa example, given wind or seismic shall be permissible. Then, when buildings or other structures have multiple, multiple uses or occupancy, the relationship between the uses of various parts of build the building, other structures, and the independence of the structural system for those various parts 
shall be examined. Sunod po yan, the classification for each independent structural of a multiple use or other structure shall be that of the highest usage in usage group in any part of the building or structure that is dependent on the basic structural system. Sabi po di, ito kanina, sinasabi po dyan, kapag multiple occupancy, examine po natin yan in various part base sa independent, kung sa Indian po. Relationship between the uses, sa relationship na between the uses, sa kanyang independence na sa bawat structural system. At sinasabi pa po na kapag ang structure ay uh, multiple use, yung pinakamataas na katego, uh, sa kategory yung ating pipiliin. Ito po yung occupancy category sa table 1.03. Number one sa category is essential facilities. Ano-ano po ba yung mga essential facilities? Ito po yun. Function or structures. Occupancy having surgery in emergency treatment areas, fire and police stations, garage and shelters for emergency vehicles and emergency aircrafts. Ano pa po? Structures and shelters in emergency preparedness centers. Aviation control towers, structures and equipment in communication centers, and facilities required for emergency for response. Ito pa po yung mga iba. Ito pa po. Facilities for standby, generating equipment for Category 1 structures, tanks or other structures containing housing or supporting water or other fire suppression material, or equipment required for the protection of category 1, 2, or 3, and 4, and 5 structures. Public schools, school building, sorry, my name is Public school building, hospitals, designated evacuation centers, and power communication transmission line. Yun, yun po yung mga uh, nakakategory, uh, mga function ng nakasama sa mga es essential facilities. Ito naman po yung sa mga hazardous facilities. Ito naman po yung occupancy or function of structures according to occupancy category na hazardous facilities. Occupancies or structures and structures housing or supporting toxic or explosive chemicals or substances. Kaya nga po hazardous, no? Non-building structures, storing, supporting, or containing quantities of toxic or explosive substances. Then, number three, category, special occupancy structures. Ano po yung mga structure na yun? Buildings with an assembly room with an occup occupant of 1,000 or more. 1,000 po yan, hindi 1.0. Educational buildings, such as museums, libraries, auditorium with a capacity of 300 or more occupants. Papapo. Building used for college or adult education with a capacity of 500 or more occupants. Ito po ang mga kasama sa special occupancy structures. Buildings with an assembly room with an occupant of 1,000 or more. Educational buildings such as museums, libraries. Ay, inulit. Ba't ganun? Auditorium with a capacity of 300 or more. Building for college or adult with a capacity of more. Yan, institutional building with 50 or more incapacitated patients but not included in Category 1. Mental hospitals, sanitariums, jails, prisons, and other buildings where personality, personal liberties of inmates 
are similarly restrained. Churches, mosques, and other religion facilities. All structures with an occupancy of 5,000 or more persons. Then, structures and equipment in power generating stations and other public utility facilities not included in Category 1 or Category 2 and required for continued operation. Sunod pong category ay Standard Occupancy Category. All structures, housings, housing equipment, all structure housing occupancies or having function not listed in Category 1, 2, or 3, and Category 5. Yan yung standard occupancy structures. So, kailangan natin malaman, kailangan natin uh, talagang maging reference natin tong table 103-1 na occupancy category. Kasi nga, yan, kailangan kung hindi siya nakasama sa occupancy ng category 1, 2, 3, and 5, tatawagin siya o isasama natin siya. Ako consider siya na standard occupancy structures. All structures, housing, occup all structure housing occupancies or having functions not listed in category 1, 2, or 3, and category 5. Yan po yung standard occupancy structures. Then, yung last nating category, miscellaneous structures. Po yun, miscellaneous structures, private garage, carports, sheds, and fences over 1.5 meter high. Yan po yung mga kasama sa miscellaneous structure. So, bakit natin kailangan wala alamin yan? Kasi nga, yan po. Reference natin yan, isa dito sa earthquake road load or pag-compute ng design base here. Yan. Kailangan natin malaman yung kategory ng structure dahil yun yung reference natin, magiging basis natin para malaman natin tong I or importance factor. Ayan po yun. Kagaya ko po na sinabi ko kanina, ito po yun, ulitin ko na lang. For the purpose of earthquake resistant design, each structure shall be placed in one of the occupancy categories listed in Table 103-1, Table 208 assigns important factor I and I fee and structural observation requirements for each category. Pag nalaman na natin yung category sa Table 103-1, then, yan po. Nagawin natin siyang reference sa table 208-1. Yun, thumbs up, yahoo, tatay lab, salamat po sa pagdaan. Then, ito po, ang table 208-1. Yan. Kapag essential facilities, ang I niya, value ng I niya is 1.5. IP niya, ganun din, 1.5. Kapag nasa hazardous facilities, ang value ng I niya is 1.25. 1.5. Special occupancy structures naman, 1 sa I and IP1. Standard occupancy structures, 1 and 1 din. I1, IP1, miscellaneous structures, 1 sa kawal. So, yan. Kailangan natin ma-determine yan para. So, susunod nating topic, ito. Isa pa po wala yan, yung importance factor. Then, ito po ang susunod nating topic, seismic response Seismic zone 4, near source factor. Seismic response coefficient. Structural system, the importance factor, then the wind load. Yan po yung part ng series natin, uh, tutorial series ng earthquake loads. Kailangan natin siyang isa-isahin para maging detailed, para maging aware tayo. Kasi tingin ko po, uh, medyo na-overlook natin to Baka karamihan na overlook to Kaya I decided to discuss it separately. Yun. Yan po. Yan po nagtatapos yung ating topic sa ngayon. Salamat sa inyong panonood. Salamat sa pagbisita. Tatay Love TV. At pinakasalamatan ko rin yung 
uh, nag-react sa aking mga share dun sa Facebook, yan, si Nat Nat Pilapil, si J- Jade Poras Bersano, nag-share sila, nag-like sila, at merong na isang nag-share. Sa isa ko namang senior yan, si John Mark Mendoza, si Raven Pahota, si Aistero Esterod, Benjamin Priala, Jerry Kiko Angelo, Erwin Encinares, Ronaldo T. Corpus da Asa Lausa. At dito sa kabila na aking topic, design-based cheer, yan, may 14 na nag-react. Salamat sa 19 na nag-share. Ayun, uh, na at least na-appreciate nyo po yung aking ginawa. At yun po, na kuha ko na din yung isa sa uh, dapat kong gawin sa YouTube. Is yung sinishare, dapat uh, merong shareability yung ginagawa nating video. Yan po, na at least po, salamat. Then, ito pa po, yung sa aking isang topic. Salamat po sa nag-22 na nag-react at sa anim na nag-share. Ito po silang mga nag-react. Machu Naral, Gagons, Chats Archers, May Ann Enriquez, Lovely Tirol Rebukas, Emil Mbile, Benepredo Elatico, Stero Stero, Teok Deligus, Ronaldo Ranches Jr., Giancarlo Lorica Meds Plandes, Joey Panlangit, Christian Rason, Jerry Quentes, Yan si Utlang Orion, Cesar Ramos, Nile Rock, Esquila Esmero, Roque Ladan, JM Campitan, Reña Repablo, Rinaldo Sira, Asis JM. Yan, saka isa-isang nag-heart. Uh, salamat po sa inyong lahat. I hope... Uh, ay natutunan po kayo, nakapag-refresh ito sa inyo. At yan po, salamat. Kung meron po kayong mga topic na gusto, gusto nyo pong itopic ko regarding civil engineering, including softwares, and let me comment. Comment nyo na lang po sa, disc- sa comment section. Then, uh, kung nagustuhan nyo po yung aking video, just don't forget to like. Share and subscribe para pa po sa more engineering software reviews and tutorial. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Hanggang sa muli. Sorry, napatay ko na yung alat yung sound. Pero kasi akong gusto kong... Yan. Ito dapat ang okay. Bago tayo magtapos, and clo- and ano muna, and extra. Okay, goodbye.